You've seen how you can use regular Swift conditions to present one type of view or the other. And we looked at code along the lines of this. Group, if bool.random, rectangle, else, circle. Where conditional views are particularly useful is when we want to show one of several different states. And if we plan it correctly, we can keep our view code small and also easy to maintain. It's a great way to start training your brain to think about Swift UI architecture. There are two parts to this solution. The first is to define an enum for the various view states you want to represent. For example, you might define this as a nested enum. Enum loading state, case loading, success, failed. Next, create individual views for those states. I'm just going to use simple text views here, but they could hold anything. Struct loading view conforms to view, var body, some view, text loading. And I'll copy and paste that twice. And I'll have success view with text success and failed view with text failed. Those views could be nested if you want, but they don't have to be. It really depends on whether you plan to use them elsewhere and the size of your app. With those two parts in place, we now effectively use content view as a simple wrapper that tracks the current app state and shows the relevant child view. That means giving it a property to store the current loading state value. Var loading state equals loading state dot loading. Then filling in its body property with code that shows the correct view based on the enum value, like this. If loading state is equal to dot loading, then do loading view. If it's dot success, do success view. Or dot failed, do failed view. Using this approach, our content view doesn't spiral out of control as more and more code gets added to the views and in fact has no idea what loading, success or failure even look like.